And welcome back into Good Morning Maryland. It is 612 right now. WMAR 2 News is the voice for veterans in Maryland. And Lauren Cook is back now with this week's honoree of the Veterans Spotlight Contest. Lauren, sounds like you got a good one. I sure do. Thank you, Christian. And thank you for all of your Veterans Spotlight nominations. This week we are honoring World War II Army veteran William yeah. Allen of Baltimore. He served tours of duty in Australia, the Philippines, and in the South Pacific, Papua New Guinea, where he worked as a cook. After the military, Mr. Allen became a deacon at Fulton Baptist Church and dedicated member of Grace Bible Baptist Church in Catonsville. His longtime hobbies include homing pigeons and gardening, something he still, still enjoys doing at almost 100 years old. He was a member of Baltimore City Gardens and received many ribbons for the produce that he shared with family and friends over the years. Mr. Allen was a loving husband to his late wife, Ruth, of 40 years, and also found love later in life with his late wife, Louise. He is a proud father of five children, and now a grandfather, great-grandfather, and great-great-grandfather. Mr. Allen is approaching a very special milestone. He will turn 100 years old on October 21st, and his family can't wait to celebrate him. Mr. Allen, we wish you a very happy 100th birthday. Thank you for your service and dedication to our country. We want to hear about the veteran in your life. It could be a loved one, a neighbor, a colleague. Nominate them for the Veteran Spotlight Contest. Just go to WMAR2news.com and click on the contest section. It's right at the top of the page. We will need a photo and information about the veteran you're nominating. The veteran selected will be awarded a $100 Visa gift card. They'll also receive a commemorative coin courtesy of Wells McComas VFW Auxiliary 2678 in Edgemere. And we will put Maryland veterans in the spotlight every Monday <clears throat> here on Good Morning Maryland on air and online at WMAR2news.com.